guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you all my go-to glam look for days where I just wanna be a little bit more put together, whether it's at work, whether I'm going out with Tyler, whatever it is, this is my go-to glam and I love this. I love the eyes, I love the lips. It's just so perfect for me and I hope you guys love it also. I do have another my go-to glam look. It's like one of my everyday gold shimmery lid looks. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it down in the description box. And all that being said, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so to start off this look, I'm first going to prime my face so that that can dry while we do our eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder, the Illuminator Primer. This stuff is amazing. This lighting has been so weird today. Like the sun is going in and out, in and out. And in and out, I don't understand it. First, what I'm gonna do is prime my eyes. Also, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Magic Decrease Eyelid Primer. And then for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Eau Naturale palette. This has been everything to me lately. And I'm just gonna take this lightest shade right here and smooth that all over my lid with this Makeup Forever. This is their Straight and Wavy brush. And then for our transition shade, I am gonna go in with this, it's like a cool tone brown shade in the palette. And I'm going to begin to build that color in the crease. It's almost like a gray tone brown. And then for the shade right in the crease, I'm gonna take this Real Techniques. This is the base shadow brush. And I'm going to take this purple shimmery shade right here and put that right in my crease. I know some people don't like taking shimmer in the crease, but with this shade, you really can't tell that there's a lot of shimmer in it. It just kind of comes off as matte. I'm just placing that product there, and then I'm gonna go back in with the It Cosmetics brush that we use as our transition brush. It's the Chic Crease brush, and I'm just gonna blend those two shades together. There's no access product on my brush. Just gonna blend those two shades together. Okay, now for the lid shade, I'm first gonna spray my brush. This is just the Urban Decay Little Naked Brush. I'm gonna spray it with some of this Maybelline Wear Boosting Setting Spray. And this is just gonna help the pigmentation of the shade. And I'm just gonna go in with this matte purple shade in the palette and put that all over my lid. I recently uploaded a picture on Instagram wearing this look and a lot of people said that they liked it so I was like, mm, why not film a video? I think on Wednesday I'm gonna film my house tour finally. And then I'm just gonna take this IT Cosmetics. This is the Airbrush Precision Smudger Brush. And I'm gonna take the black shade here and I'm going to put that in my outer corner. I do really wanna emphasize that you wanna keep the shadow low on your eye because it is going to be very defining and very smoky if you keep it low. If you go too high, it's gonna just make your eye shape look weird and we don't want that. I used to be one of those girls that would just bring it up into my crease, but you really don't wanna do that. You just wanna focus it low, right in that V. And you can even bring it out, like where you're gonna put your eyeliner. 
but just keep it low on the crease. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my transition shade brush again and just blend out that dark shade. And if you want to, you can even go with a little bit more of that transition shade, but I think I'm just gonna keep it like this because it's looking good. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that transition shade just so I can smoke out that inner crease area because it's looking a little choppy with all those dark shades in there. Okay, and now you can take a makeup wipe, but I don't have any makeup wipes, so I'm just gonna go dampen in paper towel and clean up any fallout that we had from the shadow. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply eyeliner off of camera, and I'll be right back to finish with the face. Okay, so now that our eyes are all finished, and really quickly, I wanted to mention that I did use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and this is the waterproof one in Trooper, just the black shade. And I've really, really been working on not tugging on my eyes whenever I do my eyeliner, and I find that it's been working a lot better than whenever I did tug on my eyes, because whenever you tug, you kind of bring your eyeliner up and as opposed to bringing it straight out, which is what you're supposed to do. If you guys want an updated, like how I do my winged eyeliner video, then just leave me a comment down below because I'm thinking about filming that video. I probably will, so you don't even have to comment if you don't want, I'll probably film it anyways. But yeah, I've been really focused on not tugging because whenever I do, you know, winged eyeliner on clients, I can't obviously tug their eyes, so why would I tug my own? I've been working on that and it's really been helping me with my wings. Anyways, moving on to the rest of the face. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the shade Linen. And I'm going to mix that with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade Nude Beige. So I'm going to mix these two to get my perfect shade. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender to blend that out. I've been reintroducing the Beauty Blender into my makeup routine. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Like it's so bouncy and so firm. It just gives me like the most flawless makeup look ever. And I've been re falling in love with it. I know I've been using the L'Oreal sponge for a hot minute, and I still really like that one. It's just the Beauty Blender is so nice. Now for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Clinique Advanced Concealer in the shade Matte Light. Actually, before I do that, I always forget about this step, but I like to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector. I cannot get enough of this stuff, you guys. I really want to try their bronzer also. Wet n Wild has just been killing. Okay, and then to set the under eyes, I'm going to take the Clinique Loose Face Powder, and this is in the shade 03 Transparency, and I'm just going to take this Real Techniques Contour Brush, and I'm also going to take that powder just to set my cheek area, just right here, so that our bronzer, blush, and highlight can go on smooth AF. Oh, and I am going to set my forehead also. Okay, so for bronzer today with this L'Oreal Glam Bronze Powder, I'm going to take this on my Revlon brush, uh, blush brush. I can never say that right. And I'm going to go right under my cheekbone and bring it up onto the apple of my cheek to blend it out. Ready? Then I'm gonna take a little on my forehead, just on my temple, and then around the perimeter. I like to blend my bronzer into my blush. And for blush, I'm gonna go in with one that I haven't used in a while. I know this is supposed to be my go-to glam, but I generally switch up my bronzer blush and highlight on an everyday basis so I don't really have a go-to it's just whatever I'm feeling for the day so I'm gonna use this Laura Geller baked blush in blush and brighten this is their pink buttercream blush so pretty I used to use this all the freaking time 
it's not too harsh just a nice little blush and then for highlight i think i am going to go into the casey home smashbox palette because this has just been my everything look how dusty and dirty it is it's been loved so i'm just going to take the middle shade first and place that right on my cheekbone Down the bridge of the nose. Okay, and then I am going to take the lighter pink shade right there and put that right over the highlight. This just gives that extra oomph. Like, yes, bitch. And I'm not gonna do that down the bridge of my nose, just on my cheekbones just to give that extra pop. Now for my inner corners, I'm going to go in with the same exact palette, but I'm going to take the lightest shade, which is this white kind of fair skin tone shade. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner and above the brow bone. I have been using this palette on like an everyday basis and it's just... If you guys haven't had this palette yet, trust me, you need it in your life. And I'm also gonna take that shade and put it right on the brow bone. Give us a little lift right there. Now for my brows, I am gonna do those off camera as well. And I'm going to go in with the Clinique. This is the Super Fine Liner for Brows in Deep Brown. And to set those, I'm gonna go with my Benefit Ready Set Brow. You guys saw that coming, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we are going to finish up our eyes now. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is our transition shade, this like gray-brown shade. And I'm gonna just take that on this Estee Lauder brush that I have, it's like dual-sided. And I'm just gonna take this little pencil brush end and put that right under my lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this teeny tiny little pencil from Smashbox. Take this little teeny tiny smudger brush from Smashbox and this matte purple shade that we used all over the lid. And I'm gonna also put that really close to the little lash line. I'm just gonna take that same brush that we used for the first shade and blend out, blend those two shades together. Okay, and then for the very last shade, I'm gonna go in with this key tiny real techniques. This is the brow brush. And I'm gonna take the black shade and I'm gonna put that right in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take that brush one more time and blend everything out. I don't think I'm gonna do a nose contour today. Not really feeling it. So to set my whole face, I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. Now for my mascara, I'm first going to curl my lashes. And then I am going to go in with my Lancome Sills Booster XL, and this is their mascara base. So it's a primer, it's a white primer. And I'm only going to do that on my top lashes, and then I'm going to go straight into the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Love this stuff so much. And she's perfect. And then we're gonna do the lower lashes also. And then for lips today, I am gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Nudie Patootie. Okay, and then I've been really into glossy lips lately, so I am gonna go over that with a gloss, plus it just kinda mutes my lips. 
And I'm gonna take the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. Okay guys, and that is going to complete my look. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. It would mean everything to me if you would subscribe and become a part of my channel here. With all that being said, I hope you all are having an amazing week. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Also, I am gonna be uploading a vlog here pretty soon, so don't forget to follow my vlog channel. Also, I have it linked down below in the description box. I will hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye guys.